All right, it's 11 on one. We'll get started. It's Charlena's last day, too. So, um, in honor of that, we're going to try to have some fun. Um, and the objection is going to be something I'm sure you guys hear a lot. And it's that uh, ridiculous life event. Um, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is when you're the caller, I'm going to ask you what the ridiculous life event is. Um, and then we'll jump into the call after that. So, our role play group is made up of agents and ISAs from across the country who are working on staying on the phone, overcoming objections, setting more appointments, and getting more yeses. If you'd like to set more appointments and get more yeses, click the link below and join us. Everybody jump on the call. Welcome to the call. Uh, just the objection that we're going over is when someone says there's sort of a big event, you know, like that feeling when you're like, oh, what do I say from here? Um, how do we how do we keep going and turn it into uh, hopefully a benefit? But, all right. Uh, Charlena, what's the ridiculous life event going to be? Um, I got in, injured at work and I am waiting on a settlement. You're going to do that to me? Yeah. Yep. And Love here's the it. kicker. She got Everett um, injured at work with a, I don't know, hammer, just to make it so, so you yeah. don't know, really don't know what to say. Um, how do you keep going? All right. Ring, ring. Um, hi, Charlena. Hello. Sorry. Hi. Hi, Lena. This is Shannon from the Chris Weaver Real Estate Team. How are you? Um, you know, Shannon, I'm not doing too well. I uh, got wrong? Got injured at work, you know, I lost an eye. Wow. A screwdriver. Mm. Yeah, well, at least you got another one, right? Yeah, but, you know, I'm partially blind in that one already. Okay, no, I understand and can sympathize. I, you know, I have a bad leg, so I get it. I get it. But are you on the mend? Yeah. Awesome. Well, good. So, I think last time we spoke, you were looking in the Virginia Beach area. Are you still looking in that area? Um, I am. I get on and browse every now and again. Wonderful. Wonderful. So um, are we still shooting for um, getting you in for a buyer's appointment this coming week? Because I know your lease is up in about 65 days, if I'm correct. Yep. So we're due to have you come in. So I've um, got Wednesday at nine or Thursday at five. Well, you know, Shannon, right now, I, I don't really think I'll be prepared to go. Um, I have some meetings with um, the attorneys this okay. upcoming week and you know we're working on getting my settlement i don't understand want to do financing i want to use whatever cash i get from the settlement um to purchase totally understand that and since lena i can respect that 100 percent. and what my job is is to take that stress off of you so while you're focusing with the lawyers and getting this money and everything all i'm asking for is one hour next week so therefore, I can get everything we need, start your uh, home search for you, get you in your place by the time your lease is up in 65 days, and that way you can have that time to spend with the lawyers and get your settlement. So how does next Wednesday at 9 sound for you? Um, Shannon, you know, I just don't think it'll be a good idea. Next week, we're going to try to go down uh, to North Carolina and visit some family members. Uh, oh, okay. Well, family always first. Completely, completely understand that. So the following Tuesday, I know you said you're usually off – Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So how about next, the following Tuesday at nine? Because we're, we're coming down very quick to that time period. Yeah, and I was just thinking of just extending the leave. Um, we're going month to month. Okay. Well, Lynn, I just want to, you know, bring something up. When we first started talking, you were really, really motivated into not wanting to pay rent anymore. Or has that changed? Because this is a really good investment for you. Build your credit up. If you like what you're seeing here and you know you can take your business to new heights and you just don't know how to get there, click the link below and schedule a call with us. Hmm. You know, you're right. It is. You know, it is going to be a good change, but I just, it's just so much going on. Um, grandma's sick. I probably got to go to North Carolina and I got injured at work. And, you know, I just it's life, to right? Life happens, doesn't it? It yes, does. it does. And that's what we're here to do. Um, Lena is like, I said, okay, hold on. Hold on. It, that was masterful. Um, from beginning to start, did a great job of kind of calling her out a little bit. Being like, <laughs> All right, do we want to talk about this or not? Um, do you really do you really have a bad leg? No, no. Okay, great. See, that was that was perfect, though. It kind of um, all right, cool. Like it was uh, you were giving her some information, you had already asked her some questions. 
Um, so you gave her some information about you and she kind of opened up a little bit. Um, yeah. She, Lena, you gave her three objections and then the, the fourth one, um, it, you know, it was going, it was going south from there, but Shannon had already done her job way past probably yeah. what she'd ever had to. Um, so way to give her a tough time on the way out the door. Uh, <laughs> But Shannon, yeah, everything was good, you know, and especially going back to the benefit there at the end and, and just really using what she said and what's important to them that you have down on paper. Um, that was perfect. So I would say everybody that paid attention to that call probably just got better at handling that situation. So well done. Yeah. If you like what you're seeing here and you know you can take your business to new heights and you just don't know how to get there, click the link below and schedule a call with us.